All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing your last Q&A leading up to the premiere for The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 13. Barry me here. This one first, we're going to give our thoughts on a leaked promo. It's an international promo for Episode 14. It's a week early leaked, and that is for the other side. And spoiler warning, if you don't want to know anything about it, I'll put the link in the description for you guys. The Walking Dead Scenes the YouTube channel has it uh, posted, so you can check it out. A new uh, leaked promo, which uh, I'm assuming we'll probably see after tonight's episode anyway, which is episode uh, 13, um, Bury Me Here. The Other Side, break on through to the other side, uh, episode 14. So that's next Sunday. And the promo looks really, really cool. So click the link, watch the promo. Wanted to give uh, my thoughts a few people ask me. So uh, we've got a few things. First of all, we start at the hilltop. We've got uh, Jesus, who uh, knows that uh, Sasha and Rosita are going after Negan. They, he knows that. And uh, so he's basically letting them know that he knows that. He's talking with them about it. And then you've got at the end of the promo, uh, Sasha with the scope on the sanctuary, which is really cool because I wasn't thinking that we were going to see that until maybe the uh, finale. But uh, episode, which would be episode 16, but it looks like we're going to get to see it in episode 14. Really exciting. You can see the scope. Negan's there. He's got a bunch of his men uh, in front of him, that kind of stuff. So we'll see if she can get a clean shot, and we'll see how this all uh, goes down. Um, Either way, it's uh, it's it's very exciting. You know, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see her try to take Negan out. Uh, of course, as as we all know, like we don't think she's actually going to land the shot, but it's uh, it's really exciting to see her at least uh, try and take it and, and everything. Anyway, so really cool stuff, and I'm surprised they even put that in a promo because that's like a critical, crucial moment to show in a promo. Usually, they wouldn't uh, give away something like that or show any part of that. So I uh, like uh, like the kid at the uh, the hilltop. The savers are coming. Reminds me of like. Uh, the red capes are coming uh, in the uh, trailer for, um, uh, was it uh, Batman? Was it Batman v Superman or whatever? When Alex is in it. Um, so, uh, yeah, this sounds pretty cool. And then you see, like, uh, Daryl and, and Maggie, and they're, like, running. Uh, because, of course, both of them are not really supposed to be there. Um, but we can kind of get the idea that Simon knows something's up, of course, because he's going to the hilltop. And it uh, looks like he's looking for uh, Daryl. We weren't sure if he was going to go there to get the doctor or what have you, or if he was still looking for Daryl. It looks like he's looking for Daryl. It doesn't look like he's going there to grab their doctor, but he could be doing both. Um there's also some scenes with Gregory talking with uh, Simon, so possibly letting him know some information. We'll see how that goes down and what he's able to uh, to tell Simon. Is he going to rat out the uh, the others with Rick and kind of the whole uh, joint communities thing against the Savers? It seems like he might. It seems like he might give up the uh, the plan and that, and that Rick's going to try to to come after him in that, and that it could be uh, come after Negan, and that it could be <laughs> it could be some shit. So we'll see how much he tells Simon either way it looks like one of the most exciting episodes we've seen for the season uh, because Simon is like so close to uh, Daryl and Maggie as well too and then of course you have uh, Sasha with her attempt to assassinate Negan so man really really cool uh, promo check it out guys and of course we'll discuss more tonight after episode 13 where we get a little bit more context and we get caught up and then we actually get to see the regular promo for episode 14 that we're that we're supposed to see uh, you know on time regular time so yeah with the leaks once again someone from AMC is probably going to get fired or at least written up or something this uh, <laughs> Arisages says Trev it was up to you uh, how would you like the Walking Dead season 7 finale to end tiger style so based on what we're seeing right now i'm thinking like uh, you know maybe an assassination attempt goes wrong in episode 14 or something uh, episode 15 you kind of set up for a pretty big finale and then we know the finale is going to be extended maybe uh, you know a couple speeches uh you know rick giving his speech about going to war negan giving his speech and either a battle at the sanctuary or a battle at alexandria if uh, negan comes to visit and then they try to trap him um, either way, no matter what they do, it's going to be really, really exciting. Whether it be at the um, you know the sanctuary or at uh, Alexandria, I feel like this kind of first battle with All Out War between the groups is so cooked this season because it's just been so long. We've been waiting to get to see this, and I feel like they really took their time with building up to uh, the battle and All Out War and everything. I mean, literally, it's been since the premiere. They've been talking about fighting, and we have to fight them, and everything is Maggie said and uh, it just took so long almost a whole
whole season at this point to get to the point where Rick and the others are actually ready to launch an attack against him that by the time it happens in the finale probably it's going to be really exciting so that's what I'm thinking hopefully it won't be too cliffhangery ish you know obviously they're going to have to cliffhang a bit and leave all at war to the next season or at least most of it um, but I'm thinking like one little battle you could maybe kill off Simon you can maybe kill off you know some saviors and maybe uh, a couple survivors and then uh, you know set us up for uh, next season for all at war a couple speeches and uh, you know big swing and dick speech from Negan and we're all good to go that's what I would really want that's like my perfect finale for this season so we'll see if uh, if that's how it shakes down if it is I'll be very pleased even though season seven hasn't been the best season that they've ever done of Walking Dead and I do have to admit that uh, Emily Viger says hey Trav uh, Q&A which community do you think will be the first to get destroyed um, so I think uh, you know I mean if you're talking like Sanctuary um, you know Alexandria or the Hilltop I'm thinking maybe maybe Sanctuary but but Sanctuary is so well protected are they going to get inside are they going to breach the walls I don't think so uh, that's one thing about the Sanctuary out of all the different locations can we say that the Sanctuary might be the most fortified to attack. I mean, it would be really tough to attack the sanctuary. They got the fences, they got the uh, zombie section, and then they have like a factory that is like heavy duty, really well built with high, you know, perch windows, rooftop, and the whole bit. So it would be pretty difficult to siege that place, you know. Um, whereas with Alexandria, you, as we saw with the wolves, you can get over the wall, you know, you can climb the wall. Um, over like some of the things you could you could ram in the uh, the gate which uh, we've seen like with a semi truck or something that would that would work I think to ram it in um, so it's probably not as well fortified as something like the uh, the sanctuary um, you know kingdom also similar to Alexandria a bit uh, with some buildings around which is uh, is probably good if you're in defensive mode uh, to get in some good positions in that um, so I'd say maybe most fortified would be uh, would be the sanctuary um, but the hilltop is pretty weak actually the hilltop having very few uh, survivors there so first one to get destroyed you know the hilltop is probably it's it already kind of has been like taken down a little bit if you look at the first half season with the fire and all that and them kind of going in and bringing all the zombies in and stuff they kind of fight it off but um, the first community to get like fully destroyed i guess either like hilltop or maybe uh, alexandria uh, or slightly sanctuary but i don't think they're going to be able to breach the walls get in and start taking guys down too much in the uh, the sanctuary just because it's uh, it's such a locked up tight type of uh, heavy duty like um, uh, industrial building right so it's uh, it's pretty hard to take down I would think for sure uh, Bob G says uh, can they cool with the deaths we're running out of characters um, so maybe that's true Bob I mean if you look at it uh, the season premiere of course you have the two big double deaths and I feel like those are still prevalent in a lot of our minds you know those still for me are top of mind for Walking Dead yes we did get to see another double death in the uh, mid-season uh, finale with uh, Spencer and uh, Olivia, but those characters, Spencer, you know, they weren't like, you know, characters that we had known since season two or something. So to be honest with this finale, I don't think we need a lot of big character deaths. I think we would be fine probably with one and that would uh, that would justify it in terms of major characters. Of course, you can kill off lots of red shirts from both sides. Uh, maybe one from each side to go with like uh, Simon and uh, Sasha. I think that would be cool or Rosita uh, and that would probably do our quota without killing off two many because I don't think you need to have like a triple death from the survivors or something or double death i think that might be getting a little bit a little bit too much for what we need to see and next season being all at war we're going to see more next season too granted it is a walking dead so every half you have deaths but um you know i i feel it's like it doesn't feel like it's as necessary as usual after that huge season seven premiere for sure uh mbtv says q and trev do you think we will ever see super badass Morgan again. So I think we'll see like a version of Morgan somewhere in the middle. He'll probably never be as crazy as he was back in season three in that, which might be my favorite version of Morgan back when he was like one of my favorite characters. And then he came back and he had all this mystique. And then they explained it. They took away all the mystique and it was like, oh, okay. So he's like a Zen master now. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not as, that's not as badass as I would have, uh, would have liked. Um, but I think he'll get pretty badass this, uh, this season coming up and he's going to have to fight, I think, against the uh, saviors. And even though he's not going to want to do it, I think he will do it. Um, possibly if something happens with the kingdom this episode tonight, then we could see a transformation from Morgan. Carol and the others pulling him back into it. He may not have much of a choice. And he did have to kill to save Carol. So at least he's, he's 
you know, getting there to understand that uh, that kind of idealism uh, it doesn't really apply in that kind of a, of a world. You know, you can you can have these ideas and all that, and that's great, but. In a realistic standpoint, too, you have to defend those in your group, and uh, you do have to survive. Sometimes you may have to get the hands dirty. Um, it's just what it is. Ryan's TWD channel says, hey, hey Drive Q&A, do you think that Ezekiel and Carol will still have a romantic relationship at some point? Uh, and I do still feel that way. I do still feel like Carol and Ezekiel will have some kind of romance going. Sorry, Tobin, but I think that that would make sense for Carol. Uh, and, of course, uh, Ezekiel is a pretty important character, you know, um, for the series, and you know that's not a bad prediction. Maybe Tobin could be killed off this, <laughs> this finale or next year or something. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, you are probably thinking like uh, Carol Ezekiel. It makes uh, it makes sense. A lot of people thought at one point Carol and Morgan, but I don't know. I just don't know if those two see eye to eye well enough. I don't know if that if that fits. I think Ezekiel and Carol might fit a little bit better. Um, you know, with Ezekiel kind of putting the moves on her a little bit, showing her t- his tiger and everything. Uh, nice. Uh, he also said, Ryan, uh, TWD channel, also said, Trav, do you think that Rick would sacrifice himself for Alexandria, or do you think he would waste uh, the community to stay alive himself? Uh, and I would say that, yeah, Rick, I actually do believe Rick would definitely sacrifice himself for Alexandria, like he was talking about with Michonne. I do believe that he really would. For Carl and for the others, uh, he would. Uh, a lot of people there that he cares about, for sure. Um, so, and then he also asked, what, was the best, what, what do you think the best way to end The Walking Dead would be? Uh, do you think Negan or Carl will be the last man standing? Negan, I highly doubt Negan would be like the last man standing for Walking Dead. Carl, though, yeah, I think Carl could be. Um, I mean, it's it's the way I've said it always. I'll go over it real quick because I've said this before in videos. I think at the end of Walking Dead, uh, you know, you kill Rick. You have him go into zombie mode. You show it from first-person view. So we see him as a zombie through his eyes. We see him go after, you know, Carl or somebody. And Carl puts him down in the final scene to put him to put him out. Maybe we switch point of, switch camera view back to the others, and uh, we wrap up. And then maybe they do a spinoff uh, where you follow Carl. Could be like The Walking Dead Two, so to speak. You don't have to call it that. I'm just saying, like you know, Walking Dead continued, or have like the next season be with Carl and the others continuing, and that'd be just fine. Um, next one will be from Dago, who says, uh, there's reasons for the ratings going down. Yes, maybe some people left the show, uh, but not for a million. A lot of people uh, record it and watch later. More and more people are getting rid of cable and watching online. Tell me your thoughts, Trev. So, yeah, I've heard this a bit from Dago, but if you look at the ratings for Game of Thrones, uh, Game of Thrones has gone up every season, including season six. Um, so that was like last summer. So has that much changed in one year? No, not really. Plus, uh, The Walking Dead's ratings were increasing, increasing, increasing even last few years when you could make the same argument that a lot of people were switching over at that point too so um i don't i don't necessarily think that the rating is going from 17 to 10 or 14 or 13 to 10 is um as a result of people switching yes a lot of people are switching a lot of people are using more tech to watch the shows and stuff but uh or record it watch it later what have you but still i don't think it can account for a drop like that i just don't uh, i don't see that that doesn't make sense to me um yeah it just uh, it just doesn't um rtd slayer says uh, trev when do you think maggie's baby will be delivered and i'm gonna go with uh, season nine there i think it'll be season nine michonne's mom i like this uh, i like this name michonne's mom uh no trev we can't judge eugene by the uh, poison pill episode because we still don't know if all of negan's wives actually wanted him dead or if it was some kind of a test and that's true that's a good point for michonne's mom uh, now we could have taken the risk for it uh, but of course negan does come to visit afterwards he tells them no and everything and um, so maybe it was a test maybe he passed the test maybe uh, either way it wasn't going to work and Eugene was smart enough to see that uh, hard to tell from our uh, point of view Alex McMovie says Trav which is the better redhead Tormund from Game of Thrones or Abraham from Walking Dead uh, this is really tough but I gotta go with Abraham yeah Abraham's awesome man you know he's, he's cooler than Tor- Tormund's a big badass though too right wildling and stuff from Game of Thrones he, he's pretty wicked the two are somewhat similar except uh, Abe is, is more funny uh, even though Tormund's funny too but Abraham is uh, even funnier I guess uh, more funny than, than Tormund is him and Eugene and the banter they had is great and yeah, I do feel like the show is uh, missing a little something because you have uh, Glenn and Abraham, of course, that were killed at the beginning of the season. And you could say maybe that has had an effect on the ratings because a lot of people really did like those characters and are sad that they're not in the show anymore. But 
you know, they're adding on so many characters now as well, too. And you can always go back and watch those episodes that they were in because they did have a lot of time. They did have a lot of episodes in the series. They got to keep it fresh. They got to keep new characters coming in. And uh, they got to be honest with the world so people will die. It's just how it's going to be. People are going to die. Uh, Cigar Nixica says, Trev, would you kneel before Negan? <laughs> I guess so. I don't think you have much of a choice. I think you got to have to. Uh, Andrew Bannon says, uh, do you think the structure of the show is getting too predictable? And I would say no. I think they mix it up here and there pretty good. Um, you might be right that, uh, you know, they um, they do, you know, deaths in the premiere or deaths in the finale episodes all the time, that kind of thing. And it's, it's somewhat predictable. It's like, well, you know, I know, but they, they kind of always have to do that. Sometimes they mix it up as well, too. And, uh, you know, that keeps it a bit uh, less predictable. But if you look at last summer and everybody who they thought was going to be killed off in the premiere, aside from leaked spoilers, just about nobody said both Abraham and Glenn. So unless uh, until the spoilers started hitting, everybody was like arguing over who it was going to be. One of my buddies messaged me and said, so it's going to be Carl, right? And I was like, uh, do you want me to say anything? <laughs> it's not going to be Carl. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's, I don't think it's that predictable. I think people act like it's predictable. Um, but if that's in hindsight, if they actually did do predictions, not based on spoilers and they publish them online, either in a, um, you know, a forum or like I do here on a YouTube channel or articles or whatever, they would find it's a lot harder to predict than you think. Uh, granted, at least you have a comic series, so that's something to go by um, But uh, for predictions, but uh, it's not that easy. Uh, last one will be from Josh Giles, who says, Hey, Trev, will we see a second lineup uh, with Negan? I feel like uh, they might have skipped over that part, and we won't see uh, you know some other stuff he gets into from um, the comic. So, so he's asking, basically, do you think in the finale we could see Negan line everybody up again if the assassination attempt fails or if something happens that doesn't work out? Uh, I think that would be really cool. I think getting to see that in the finale would be sweet. And that's something, see, there's a great idea right there. That's something I would want to see in the finale, like a lineup and then have something happen and uh, you know uh, Negan and the the others have to run away or retreat or something the garbage pale kids the junkies come in and then they got to run away or something that'd be cool man that'd be wicked cool and start shooting lucille gets shot again or something <laughs> i don't know something like that anyway enjoy the hell of the episode tonight guys check out the new promo uh, let me know what you think write your comments below on uh, what you think of the promo man it looks great we should have a great last quarter to the walking dead can't wait to see these episodes if you guys like this video please thumb it up below you can share you can favorite if you're new and you want to subscribe button left to subscribe and i'll see you guys again tonight for the uh, episode 13. As always, it's Trev. Same piece. Later, guys. See you soon. Just subscribe somehow. <laughs>